dreams often come once in a lifetime, and when the chance comes to make that dream a reality, not too many seek to make it manifest itself. Some make the way to expand that dream. Teofimo Lopez exceeded his dream when he conquered the lightweight division's champion, Vasil Lomachenko, but there are still contenders he must take on to ultimately reign supreme. The one seeking to make his dream now a reality, a fighter who represents his Australian roots, George Cambosis, with the heart of a Spartan and fearless intent, Cambosis comes not only to win, but to showcase and cause devastation to the now reigning champion. The Sydney-born fighter signed with the Bella Entertainment in April of 2018 and made his US debut the next month ahead and carried on becoming a sparring partner for the legendary Manny Pacquiao and landing a card on the Terence Crawford vs. Cavalaskis bout, winning a split decision over Mickey Bay. In his last bout, he won a split decision against former IBF lightweight champion Lee Selby at the SSE Arena in London. Now his eyes are set on the division's king, Tiafimo, who in times past has claimed that he will conquer the lightweight scale and ultimately stand alone, looks to acquire what he most desired, to be credited the for sure number one best in the weight class without question, so he seeks to define his art against his mandatory for the IBF title, unreluctant to presume his task and prepare for his battle, unscathed by the recent fallout with promoter Bob Arum and top rank, on the purse pit, seeks to thrill with Triller and bring his skillful talent to the new platform. Cambosis looks no doubt to upset the young strong champion and Lopez, bringing in his heart that paints a picture of a Spartan soldier. Good speed, left hook is his primary punch. Good footwork, though likes to stand in the pocket and wage war, is willing to take his chances for the glory set before him. Tiafimo is most anxious to set Cambosis straight after the first fight press conference, where Cambosis came out taunting and somewhat being disrespectful towards Tiafimo that made him hot at the conference. Geared towards becoming victorious, Lopez claimed he will seek to take out the Australian fighter in three rounds or less. Did Cambosis planted a seed in Tiafimo that can backfire the preparation and ultimately the fight in making Lopez's aggression and pride work against him? Or is it a mistake to disrespect the now reigning king in the lightweight division? Will that now turn against our Spartan hard fighter Cambosis? Or will that fire, taunt, and disrespect work in his favor? We will see June 19th.